Welcome back to the Lineup Lab. My name is Peter O'Donnell. In this video, we look at Ty Burns' defensive breakdown work in Munster's recent fixture against Connacht. When I coach the poach, I look at various technical aspects such as your entry, your base, and where are you in relation to the ball. But there are two other key things that are less about technique and more to do with your mindset. Firstly, your attitude. You need to be brave to get yourself into that type of position. And then the second thing is, is to stick to hit or stay in the fight when the pressure comes on in the clear out. In this first clip, we see Byrne circled here in yellow. And with a scum cap like that, you're always bound to stand out, whether it be for good or bad reasons. More often than not, it's good. As play evolves, let's watch how decisive he is to go for the ball and the poach. For a tall man, he's excellent at getting himself in a low body position to compete for the ball. And what I like about Byrne is that he really tries to wrestle the ball from the ball carrier, making it very challenging for the support players to clear out. Similar with this next clip, we can see he's really trying to rip the ball, whereas too often, poachers just hold onto the ball, which in today's laws isn't enough as referees are looking for a contest. Watching it again, we can see his base is good with a nice wide foot positioning. He then looks to get his chest over the ball and try and rip it away from the ball carrier. He was actually a little bit unlucky here as the penalty went against his teammate. I love the look of disbelief on his face as he looks towards the ref. Before continuing on with the footage, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe where you'll get access to loads of additional content from me. You might also be interested in following me at Lineup Lab on Instagram, where I've recently started uploading additional coaching resources and videos. In this next clip, we can see him defending in the 22. Again, he's a little unlucky here, but what I like about this clip is his intent to go for the ball, even after he loses his feet in the tackle, then how he shows daylight with his hands to release the ball carrier before competing for possession. I absolutely love having a player like Byrne on my side. Here he makes a tackle before bouncing back up to his feet and putting in some counterwork pressure on the next breakdown. He then makes a good decision not to compete for the ball before going in for the killer blow and the poach on the next opportunity. By the time Black 5 gets there, it's too late. The damage is done. In this next clip, we can see more of his good decision making. Initially, not competing for the ball, before then deciding to compete at the breakdown after some excellent team defence. Driving the ball carrier back, he sees the opportunity and goes in for the kill. Watching again, we can see how he gets himself in a good position with a good base and shoulder height and again trying to wrestle that ball from the ball carrier. In this penultimate clip, we can see his defensive energy. He's an absolute menace or a nuisance for attacking teams. Whether he looks for a brace on his support players, or whether it's going for a 50-50, as we see here now in a second, or as he bounces back up and looks to counter rook at this next breakdown. His defensive energy and enthusiasm is awesome and infectious for all his teammates, which gives everyone a lift. As we go into our final clip and the final play of the game, it's worth noting red have two men in the bin. Black actually go blind here, and then work back towards the posts in a series of tight plays. Again, we're watching his intent and his energy to compete for that ball and win those 50-50s. Similar to before, he's very quick to jump on any loose ball around the rook that pops out. This forces a knock-on and results in a hard-earned win for Munster. Man of the match performance by Byrne. Poaching, energy, counter-rook, 50-50s. He does it all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.